What it do on TV and facts? We're about to go in deep. We're going, we're about to go in real deep. Yeah. We are about to go in deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What it do, y'all? What, 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 what it do? Huh? Oh, my God. So much has happened since the last time I went live. They gave more details on the event shooting. They've been kind of going at it. The two guards over, over the wand. One... Did I don't? <laughs> oh, boy said I had to. I had to handle that. If he come up, I had to do it. Wow. If if he come up here trying to talk to me, I'm gonna send him to see his maker. Mm. I saw that. What else I see? It was some other stuff I saw, but I had remembered earlier. I saw something very, 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 very telltale. And I don't know if y'all remember t sippers tune in baby chime in about mm, two months ago i talked to y'all about one of them county officials wanted to bring in one of the special guys out of New York, remember, to reconstruct. This is when they was really rejecting the National Guard's a uh, coming, uh, uh, considering it, you know, a uh, hell of a disaster. They, they can't get control over the city. Y'all remember that? I think his name was was uh William or Bill Brandon or something like that. And that was the name that they was throwing around, you know, was gonna come in <laughs> and shake shit up. He was a specialist in crime. Yeah, 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 baby. Why why they done hop why they hired somebody earlier when I saw it? It was like breaking news 40 minutes in. They don't <laughs> they don't brought on somebody. You auntie for you lying. <laughs> they done got rid of old boy. Side piece Sean. They done got a replacement. They finna get rid of the chief. <laughs> and they done brought another guy. It wasn't it wasn't him, the one that they was considering, but it was another one out of New York. I said, oh, I need to do an upload. <laughs> I need to do an upload. <laughs> On top of all of that, we talked about earlier, I was going to show y'all what we talked about with Nana. <clears throat> and then before I could get to that, they done brought in some assistance from New York. Mm. Oh, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? Memphis, what's going on? Mm. 
Yeah, hold on. I got to find them for you, baby. Hold on. We going to talk about it. Y'all remember now? Former NYC chief. This is March the 29th. Time for you to go. <laughs> Crime alert. Shootout. Crash out. Y'all remember now? Right here. Former NYC Chief Bratton. Yeah. Hit the like button and share. This was May 29th. Hello. If you want hit the truth the like out, hit the like button and share. Hit the like button. Put on to me. Like button. For the good old tea. Let's go. Let's listen. In a seat to hire New York City's former top cop to help fight crime here in Memphis. State Senator Brent Taylor, who Brent represents Tyler. Memphis and East Shelby County, has written a letter to the governor making that request. WRG's Alex Coleman talked with Chief Taylor Davis ain't, about ain't his hurting. plans and what some Memphians think about it. From a man allegedly ramming a food truck on Macon Road to a shooting and violence. But some Memphians are split over whether bringing in an outside crime fighting expert yeah, is needed to help find solutions. Hell yeah. You know, it's not a good idea because if a person. From a man allegedly ramming a food truck on Macon Road to a shooting in Whitehaven that left a person dead, it was another weekend of crime and violence. But some Memphians are split over whether bringing in an outside crime-fighting expert is needed to help find solutions. Hell yeah! You know, it's not a good idea because if a person doesn't live here, they, they, they don't know the issues. Yeah, but some people man. who live here... The crime crisis is the reason State Senator Brent Taylor of Memphis says he sent this letter to Governor Bill Lee on Tuesday. They, they refuse. Keep in mind that one third of Tennessee's crimes occur in Shelby County. And just last month, Alex, we had 95 people shot and 21 he people killed. He doing that because they shot down and, their uh, uh, that's the National Guard. Taylor says the state needs to hire a <laughs> consultant, such as former Tell New York that. City Commissioner William Bratton, to help take on the city's crime problem and report directly to the governor. Our efforts so far... Look at his salt. <laughs> and pepper because your dog. I, I'm <laughs> digging it. I don't know what it's doing up under the chin, but I'm digging <laughs> I called him as your dog. I, I'm digging it. I don't know what it's doing up <laughs> under the chin, but I'm digging that. So uh, uh, carry on with that. But baby, just because somebody don't live Memphis, people who live it, it, it won't work for people who don't live there because y'all look over shit. Y'all think can't nobody tell Memphians what to do. Y'all feel like that because y'all don't want reform. Y'all want to be able to continue to monopolize the streets and do what the fuck y'all want to do. Killing innocent people, see. Here, but that I'm ain't just... going to work. That's why she, they, they rejected the National Guards and sent the National Guards back. Trying to sue, the, trying to sue you know. Yeah. I'm going to leave that, well, that word on the street. I don't know that for sure, but word on the street. That's what that is. So now they said, okay, y'all want to play like that. Let's go here. Let's go this way. Let's, let's do be politically correct because these niggas don't want the National Guards here because they don't, really don't want reform because they are part of the, uh, the mob. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I think... I, yeah. Yeah. So, and then you got this new little mayor in here who playing, you know, he all up under Chief Davis' ass. She must got some good ass coochie boo. <laughs> everybody come behind. Oh, Chief. Here who playing, you know, he all I up said under this Chief back Davis' then. ass. She must this got is... some good ass coochie boo. Because everybody they come behind. Oh, Chief. <laughs> If you don't go, go sit your ass in a corner for 20 goddamn minutes. Because I can't believe you just said that Chief is fucking these men and got these men wrapped around her. Laquita. <laughs> yeah, I'll be back. It's a public safety consulting firm called Tinio. He's also credited with helping New York City witness a crime drop back in the 1990s, even though critics call the tactics aggressive and controversial. Okay, so... The biggest thing that 
Tyree Nichols. Mad Dog and Red Dog. What's the difference? And that is that you enforce the laws on his best. Now, I know he all up in that. And let's not talk about this one. Yeah, because we know it's five of them. One is talking. One is telling. Looking for some outside sources. <laughs> I told y'all to see what's going to on. Come in. Lord, Lord, Lord. Mm. The dirt's about to fall. Dirt's but, about to fall. <laughs> baby, listen. So, little, little young, little young partner, he trying his best. Now, <laughs> I know he all up up in that baby. She must be do, twirling do, that thing. The young male know that's the fifth Put person that is talking. Nooky, nooky uh, on their asses. Tearing uh, their mind up. They can't even function. But dude, you're going to get lost in the sauce. Because once they get some intelligence in there. Oh, and th oh, he was hard today. And it's coming. It's coming It's coming soon. soon. Mm. Soon and very soon, <laughs> she will have to face the music. I say soon and very soon. She facing the music she now. She will have to face <laughs> the music. <laughs> soon and very soon. Soon and very she soon. She will have to face the music. Yeah. She gonna be singing hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord. Help me get, get out this, this mess. mess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Because uh, what jury could hear, what she don't want to hear. Baby, y'all going to say that God dang Auntie V been saying it all along. Saying it all along. And so Let's... he ain't even reached out, seeked out to get a replacement for her because he want her to stay in place, boo, but... Them counselors said, I should not be. I we should. are not moving. <laughs> okay, let's we listen. We are about to expose this dirty chief. Just wait and see mm. what we are about to expose. They exposed it, it's ain't they? All foot. They on their way to prison. <laughs> let's talk about this mass shooting. That I was telling y'all about that happened over the weekend. It says uh, in Mississippi, you know, things been taking off in Mississippi here lately. Especially since that man done uh, left uh, DeSoto County. You know, and then we had the trafficking in Tulupa. You know, a lot of shit going on. A uh, quit got pulled over in uh, Mississippi. Yeah, and uh, that crump. Latonya, Latoya, Crump went. I told y'all the other day, reminded y'all the other day that the Crump had somebody missing. Uh, I Mississippi. Remember, I brought it up in the live. Yeah. So, uh, over the weekend it was a uh, Indio Indianola, Indianola, Mississippi nightclub. Three killed, twelve injured. Yeah. Are confirmed dead tonight and more than a dozen others recovering after a mass shooting in the Mississippi Delta. This happened in the town of Indianola after someone took a gun to a block party early Sunday morning. WRG's Mike Suriani traveled to Sunflower County to get reaction. There's a lot of outrage. It, it, this is one of the most uh, disappointing things that happened in our community in a long time. Charles Modley, president of the Sunflower County NAACP, expressing what many in this Mississippi Delta town are feeling after three young men are shot dead on Church Street Sunday morning. Oh, the street was full of people from both sides. Hit the Just light button, trying please. to enjoy themselves and have a good time. And, and this is what happened. A 
According to the Sunflower County coroner, one victim was from Indianola and two were from Greenville. All three were 19 years old. One of the kids graduated with my daughter here at Gentry High School in May 24th. And my daughter, like I said, uh, my daughter's taking it real hard. Indianola's police chief telling WREG the shooting stemmed from an argument between two individuals outside Club Lit on Church Street, with more shots being fired, leading to more than a dozen people injured. Chief Ronald Sampson said there were so many people on Church Street, he actually had a couple of officers near this intersection setting up barricades to control traffic when bullets started flying. Monday, as shell casings and bullet fragments, even one live round, can still be found near the scene, there is growing concern of how this kind of gun violence will impact this Delta Town's growth. If we're trying to get economic development here and things of that nature, and no economic development want to come here if you have in your city Elvin, of this magnitude. Others saying it's past time as a community to end the violence. We got to stop turning our head. We got to stop ignoring stuff. And we got to speak up and talk. We got to say something because if we don't, we're going to lose all our babies. You For your news leader. And we got to stop turning our head. We got to stop ignoring stuff. And we got to speak up and talk. We got to say something, because if we don't, we're going to lose all our babies. For your news leader in Indy. Yes, absolutely, what she said. Now, police have yet to identify any suspects. Multiple, ag multiple agencies, including the Mississippi Bureau of Investigation, are involved. Multiple agencies. Police are urging anyone with cell phone video. The police have yet to identify any suspects. Multiple agencies, including the Mississippi Bureau of Investigation, are involved. Police are urging anyone with cell phone video that could show the suspects to please contact. Miss Churches was back in court today. Miss Court, Miss Churches, Orange Man, Miss Churches, Chicken, Lady, the Shooter. Yeah, let's hear what they were saying about her. Yeah. Today, the woman charged with the murder of a church's chicken employee earlier this month was back in court for the third time this morning. Today, a judge was set to decide the Orange amount man. she would have to pay in order to bond out of jail. But in a surprising twist, the 45-year-old, along with her defense team, waived their right to a bond hearing. Thank you for joining us. I'm April Thompson. So I'm Alex now? Coleman. Her attorney tells WREG Sharita Patterson the delay will give them more time to build their defense. Things started and ended pretty much the same from days earlier as Monica Williams was brought back into court Monday morning. The 45-year-old, after taking her seat, began playing what appeared to be a game of hide and seek with our camera. She was eventually <laughs> called back up by the judge as she tried yet again to shield her face. Her defense attorney, Scott Hall, telling the judge Why are you his client your face? was waiving her right to a bond hearing. A game of hide and seek with our camera. Now she don't she want was to be eventually seen again. called back up Dad, by the judge as she face. tried yet again to shield her you was, face. You was giving the, 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 the okay Scott sign Hall the last time. The judge his client was waiving her right Wasn't she giving the okay him. sign the other time? Speaking with people. Yet again to shield her face. No man. Her defense attorney Scott Hall telling the judge no his client was waiving her right to a bond hearing. Currently speaking with people, we have investigators talking to the witnesses and uh, trying to develop a defense in this matter. Williams is accused of shooting to death the Nietzsche West while the victim was at work at this church's chicken and now orange she, again, mound she don't want at to the show beginning her face. of July. 
But is what happened after the deadly shooting, Attorney Hall says he wants the court to take into consideration when it comes time to decide bond. She turned herself in. She was not captured by police. She made the voluntary move to turn herself in to the system. This despite police alleging Williams was hiding out after the deadly attack, which led to a warrant having to be issued. Just because a warrant is issued, it does not have a bearing on whether you're innocent or guilty. The woman accused of murder was taken out as her family, who was back in court yet again Monday, began making their way out to speak with her counsel. For now, Monica Williams will remain in lockup. Her attorney saying it will give them more time to possibly speak. No, ma'am. You will not hide your face. You're going you gonna, you gonna to woman up. You going you going to face the camera and you going to deal with your consequences cuz you was Betty bad ass that day you left you left the scene and you came back and shot and killed her you knew exactly who she was in the mound on the mound in the mound mhm mm you knew her her husband said Y'all all know each other. You look like you related to that girl. Yeah. Yeah. You act like her too. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. She trying to hide from the damn camera. They need to make me make her yank them fake ass eyelashes off her face. Cause see, she thinks she cute up in there and she she can dodge the cameras. Sit your ass down and show your face. How dare you? Mel Young look a little different, don't he? That where the chief. <laughs> where she at? Where she at? Ooh, where she at? Where she at? Yeah, he's standing by himself, y'all, huh? Uh huh. They don't pull rank on that ass. Huh. Hello, hello. Ha. <laughs> uh huh. Deals with ongoing violent crime. Mayor Paul Young has tapped a retired New York Police Department official to be a public safety consultant. He is already on the job and served in a similar role with New Orleans police. WRG's Alex Coleman introduces us to him and explains what the mayor hopes he'll bring to the table. So he's out of New Orleans. Earlier this year, Mayor Paul Young vowing to treat the Memphis crime problem just like the community treated the pandemic. A crisis that needed an all-hands-on-deck approach mm -hmm. to find a solution. We hear our citizens loud and clear. They want to see action. Almost seven months later, the mayor believes one possible solution he done moved her over to the side. She ain't standing next to him no more. It's not a good look. Auntie Fee saying we's fucking. She done, been, she done picked up on somebody language. So let's move this shit around. Let's change this picture. Hello? Hello? Uh-huh. 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 Ooh, yes. So you standing up now. You're not waiting for her to speak for you, huh? Oh, okay. It's time, time to make a change. We are the people who can do it. Time. Ah, you on your way out, Matilda. Time to make a change. We are people who can do it. Yes, indeed. 
Yes, indeed. He done, he done put some shoe polish on that beard. He done darkened it up. He done put, it looked like he made an add about five years to him. He, he got his chest out. He's standing. He said, N -n -n you better, <laughs> yeah, you want, oh, okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Come on. Come on. Man up. Yes, indeed. Our citizens loud and clear. They want to see action. Almost seven months later, the mayor believes one possible solution to addressing the crime problem mm. is by hiring Fausto Pichardo, the former New York Police Department chief of patrol, to be the city's public safety consultant. Your news leader has learned Pichardo was hired to advise and implement the mayor's public safety initiative, a holistic approach to reduce crime in high crime areas. John Covington, the vice president of the Memphis Police Association, says this position is needed. Some of the things and the points he's made publicly about wanting to approach crime are things that uh, the MPAs and officers have thought, you know, it's that uh, getting out there and be proactive, uh, getting these numbers up, you know, targeting areas. So, uh, so far, so good. It comes as the they city about Memphis to get rid of the with ongoing violent crime, Look at that. Look a at rash that. of car break-ins, high-profile smash-and-grab thefts from businesses, and fewer police officers on the street. It comes down to uh, not enough officers and, and too much crime. Pichardo spent years consulting with the New Orleans Police Department as that city dealt with issues similar to Memphis and was credited with helping their new police chief. It hasn't been officially disclosed how much Pichardo will get paid, but the city tells WREG First Horizon Bank is footing the bill mm. as the city tries to find solutions to crime. It's a tough the job. It's don't not have an easy time and, and to be an officer, but I tell you, too. these officers, mm. are, 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 their heart is in it. They're out there working for the citizens, and we will get to where we... It's time to make a change. We are the people who can do it. Mm -hmm. It's time. Time for the chief to go. She's done more harm. Them good. Let's listen. The murder suspect disappeared from DeSoto County. Then, video of his escape vanished from the DA's office computer system. And now, an order of silence in the case. Fox 13's Mandy Rock reports in an unusual move, the judge in this case has issued a gag order against DeSoto County's district attorney in the case of the escaped inmate. Let's start with the picture police want you to see. This is Joshua Zimmerman. He walked out of the DeSoto County Courthouse on June 14th. He is facing attempted murder, robbery, and gun charges. He's also accused in a murder case out of Texas. Now he's a fugitive. With a $20,000 reward over his head, being sought by everyone from U.S. Marshals to reality TV star Dog the Bounty Hunter. This picture and the concern over his disappearance has been spread across the country. Then, just a week after his disappearance, DeSoto County District Attorney Matthew Barton added a new layer to the mystery. He said surveillance video documenting Zimmerman's escape vanished from the servers inside his office. And he said he asked the grand jury to step in to investigate. This was D.A. Barton during a news conference after that video disappeared. As much as it's going to rock the boat and upset a few people, the fact is uh, DeSoto County does not belong to the good old boys anymore. It belongs to you, co-conspirators uh, from an outside entity, not the state of Mississippi, uh, local entities, uh, directed uh, the county IT to go onto my server and delete state's evidence. It's going to rock the boat and upset a few people. The fact is, uh, DeSoto County does not belong to the good old boys anymore. As much as it's going to 
rocked the boat and upset a few people. The fact is, uh, DeSoto County does not belong to the good old boys anymore. It belongs to you. Co-conspirators uh, from an outside entity, not the state of Mississippi, uh, local entities, uh, directed uh, the county IT to go onto my server and delete state's evidence. The gag order means DA Barton is not allowed to speak publicly about the case again until it's lifted. The grand jury investigation also means the case will be sealed. And more look at Zimmerman. Police say by now he may have shaved his beard. He's 5 feet 11 inches tall and weighs about 210 pounds. If you have any information, do not approach him. Call 911 right away. Mandy Rock, Fox 13 News. And here is the uh, Nana. Nana needs our strength. This is the Nana. This is the Ken folk that they done blotted out. This is it in full. You did the crime that we was talking about earlier on my live. U.S. Marshal's office told me that it has been interviewing Zimmerman's mom. Now, the office explained that an investigation so Nana is, is being the mom. conducted on her. Now, in a post on social media, someone who appears to be a family member wrote, I am not someone to post my personal issues on social okay, media, yeah, but I'll I am be back. extremely disgusted by Joshua Zimmerman. The torment you're putting our family through. Is it truly worth it for you, Josh? Nana needs our strength. A family member pleading in the post for Zimmerman to turn himself in, saying, quote, for once, do the right thing. Turn yourself for in. Once. Let your mom be free. Your mom needs to be here for the kids that need her. Do you want her to face time for your crimes? Josh, you're being selfish. Now, if you recall, Fox 13 reported that Zimmerman escaped the DeSoto County Courthouse back on June 14th. He was being held on attempted murder and armed robbery charges from an incident that happened in South Haven last September. You know, it's caught very quickly. It's unbelievable that it could happen and he can just walk Whoa. out the door without the anybody South knowing. Let, let's it just doesn't seem. You want her to face time for your crime. They said, she said, hold on. Josh, you're being selfish. Now, if you recall, Fox 13 reported that Zimmerman escaped the DeSoto County Courthouse back on June 14th. He was being held on attempted murder and armed robbery charges from an incident that happened in South Haven last September. You know, it's caught very quickly. It's unbelievable that it could happen and he can just walk out the door without anybody knowing anything. It just doesn't seem... Was Zimmerman had escaped from the county courthouse. That was on June 14th. The sheriff says authorities noticed that he was missing six minutes after he escaped. A few days after Zimmerman's escape, the sheriff confirmed that he didn't have help getting out. Instead, exploiting a design flaw that the sheriff says has now been fixed. But the very next day, the district attorney said video of Zimmerman's escape had been deleted and he knew who the co-conspirator was. The official reward has slowly risen to $20,000. Investigators say if you see Zimmerman, call 911 immediately. It on her. Now, in a post on social media, someone who appears to office explained that an investigation is being conducted on her. Now, in a post on social media, someone who appears to be a family mother. member wrote, I am not someone to post my interviewing Zimmerman's mom. Now, the office explained that an investigation is being conducted on her. Now, in a post Nana's on social on media, jail. someone who appears to be a family member wrote, I am not Nana's someone to post jail. my personal issues on social media, but I am extremely disgusted by Joshua Zimmerman, the torment you're putting our family through. Is it truly worth it for you, Josh? Nana needs our strength. Now, the family member pleading in the post for Zimmerman to turn himself in, saying, quote, for once, do the right thing. Turn yourself in. Let your mom be free. Your mom needs to be here for the kids that need her. Do you want her to face time for your crimes? Josh, you're being selfish.
Now, if you recall, Fox 13 reported that Zimmerman escaped the DeSoto County Courthouse back on June 14th. He was being held on attempted murder and armed robbery charges from an incident that happened in South Haven last September. You know.